Hi everyone and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to walk y'all through my makeup routine. I get a ton of questions about it specifically on my TikTok but I wanted to make it for YouTube because I feel like YouTube is a little bit more of a permanent routine space that I can post this routine on and it'll stay up for a while versus TikTok where I'm posting you know two to three times a day. It can get lost in my feed very easily. So yeah I'm so happy you're here and I was so excited to film this for you guys today. If you want to see how I achieved this look keep watching. All of the products that I used will be linked down below for you guys to shop. These are my absolute favorite ones that I use almost every single day. So I'm so excited to be sharing this routine and these products with you guys. Enjoy! Okay, I know everyone says this, but it truly is so important. The most important step in your makeup routine is skin prep. Recently, I found the Refi Facial Primer and this is my favorite thing ever. You just like literally roll it on your face and it's so soothing and it makes my makeup last all day or night long. I just roll it literally everywhere, especially on my cheeks because I feel like that's where the most product goes and it's the quickest to wear off. This product I feel like went viral on TikTok a few months ago, I wanna say, and it is worth the hype. The next thing that I use is the Say Sun Glow. This just gives me a really like glowy sun-kissed base, which I love for summer. And I feel like using this really just sets the tone of my makeup. On days where I don't feel like wearing a lot of makeup, I'll normally just put this on and concealer wherever I need to and call it a day because this is just such a good base product. Obviously, it doesn't have like any coverage. It's just for the glow, but it is so good. Next, I take the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in the shade 4 Medium. This is literally like the label is almost off of this product because I use it so much and I've repurchased this at least 10 times. It's such a good glowy base and I feel like this just really is like such a solidifying step in my base routine. Again, this really doesn't have a lot of coverage but it definitely gets the job done and makes my makeup stay all day long. A lot of people use this as a foundation and I used to do that whenever my skin was like totally clear and I still do whenever I'm having a good skin day but I really love using this as a third primer for my skin. Next is my Holy Grail foundation. This is the Jordan Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in the shade 5. I feel like every single influencer I follow was using this, so I decided to pick it up from Sephora a few weeks ago, and I will never use anything else. I'm just obsessed. I rub this in with my hands because I feel like it gives it more of a nice finish whenever I do that, and then if I feel like it's not completely blended or I can blend it a little bit better, I'll go in with a brush as well. I try to use my hands more than brushes as much as I can just because I feel like brushes hold so much bacteria and before I do my makeup I always wash my hands really well to make sure that I have any dirt or grime off of them before touching my face. For concealer, I use the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Light 2 Vanilla. This is my favorite one. I've been using this for literally forever and I don't think I'll ever switch. I'm the kind of person that once I find a product that works for me, it's really hard to find another one. So. This is the concealer I use. Obviously, I'm not having a good skin week, but it's all good. It happens. Then I just blend that in with a beauty blender. I don't do my under eyes with concealer until after I've done my nose contour and any bronzer that I want to use on my face just because I feel like the bronzer typically makes the under eye concealer look a little bit darker and not appear super bright so I always wait on that. Like look at that coverage. Like don't even play. After the concealer base and foundation is set is when I start doing the setting spray in between every step. I use the one size on to on mattifying waterproof setting spray. This is the best one that I found. I love the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I feel like I like this one a little bit better just because it's waterproof also. It's so nice to find a setting spray that will keep your makeup on in the heat. Okay, this product I absolutely love, but it is such a slippery slope because if you've been alive for more than five years, you know about the Anastasia dip brow phase that I feel like everyone went through at some point in their life. So I do still use the Anastasia dip brow. I feel like it's just the best for my eyebrows. I'm just very, very, very careful with it and I don't put too much on. I use it in the shade Soft Brown. 
I just take this little double-sided Anastasia Beverly Hills brush and I just dip it a few times and then I'll brush out my brows and put it on where I feel like I need it. I typically focus on the middle to the ends of my eyebrows because I feel like my eyebrows aren't super dark even though I do try and dye them like once a month. So super easy and then same on the other side. I feel like there's always one good eyebrow and one bad eyebrow but like everyone says they're sisters not twins so I try to not worry about having them perfected but this product definitely makes them look more even so they are defined but they're not too defined that it looks like I'm living in 2016 okay the next thing that I use is the refi brow gel this is not a product you can go back and apply throughout the day because it'll give you little white things on your eyebrows so I like to not use a lot but I definitely feel like it holds my eyebrows in place for as long as they need to be held in place for so that is the eyebrow routine pretty simple two products nothing fancy i will say another brow gel that i really like is the benefit 24-hour brow setter this one is so good as well but recently i've been using the refi for bronzer and contour i don't like to use a lot just because i feel like it can make my face look muddy really easily but i have been loving the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in the shade Medium Dark. So I just open this up and I take one of these brushes. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is a foundation brush, but I use it as contour and I just kind of beat it into my skin like this. And I do it until I feel like I have enough on that I can blend it out with blush and concealer and everything and it will look even. And I do that on both sides. Okay, once I feel like that is done, I'll do a little bit on my forehead, but I try not to do a lot because my hair is so light that it really contrasts if I don't do it correctly. So I have to be very careful about how I do my forehead contour. Next, I take this super small brush and I'll just do a little bit and go on the sides of my nose and just go down. I have a pretty small nose um, from looking at it straight forward, but I always feel like making it appear a little bit smaller is never a bad idea so i just blend it like this on the sides then i go back in with my concealer and i just do three little things right there i just go one two three and make it like a little triangle shape on the sides of my nose and then i'll do a little one right here and a little one right here also i don't know if i mentioned this before but i love to spray my beauty blender with setting spray i feel like it makes my makeup last so much longer than whenever i use water i always blend these first because i don't like it being too defined the way that i like my under eyes bright and then i'll go in on my under eyes i go down my nose a few times and then around the under eye and i feel like that just gives me the best coverage and it highlights every spot that I want it to. Setting spray, of course. Take a little drink break. My two favorite blushes that I use on my cheeks are the Say Do Blush in the shade Chili and then the Rare Beauty Blush in shade Encourage. And I normally just do a little dot of each on both sides of my cheeks. This one's a little bit harder to dot just because the applicator is a bit different, but it is just the perfect summer combo. Take this little blush brush and i just blend those together very carefully because i don't want it to go literally everywhere a little goes a long way with both of these but i love doing a lot i blend it up into my hairline and into my forehead right above my eyebrows and it really makes me look so sunkissed and it's just my favorite combo ever so just like that i blend it in and i don't put anything else on top of the blush like i don't set it with a powder or anything i just kind of leave it as is doing my makeup in this light always makes me realize that i don't tweeze my eyebrows very good so <laughs> that's definitely the first thing that i'm gonna do whenever i stop recording this video i often blend it into my forehead a little bit and over my nose just to give it that all around sun kissed look instead of just having super rosy cheeks this pimple is driving me crazy Okay, I'm starting to freak out because I don't know where I put my powder. Okay, 
false alarm. My favorite setting powder is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake in the shade Sugar Cookie. It's really, really white, but I kind of love it because it makes the contour lines so insanely defined. So I just apply it with this little beauty blender sponge looking thing and I put it right there and then I do the same thing on the other side. And then if I'm feeling really fancy, which I will for YouTube today, I do the tip of my nose and I do a little line up the bridge of my nose to really get that contour in. That is so wide. Okay, so I'll just do it like that. Everyone always asks me what my lip combo is and I always feel bad giving an answer because I feel like I switch it so much. Recently, I've been loving using the Say Blush on my lips and I don't use it like a lipstick. I just put it kind of at the bridge of my nose like that and then at the under part and I'll blend it in. If it's up to me, I always choose lip balm over lip gloss and use the lip balm as a lip gloss. So my favorite one that I've been loving recently is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in Sweet Candy and I just put it all over my lips and it makes them look so juicy. But that is the lip combo. It is time for lashes. So before I start my makeup, I always curl them. Having my eyelash curler would be really helpful. Okay, I use the Tweezerman eyelash curler. This is my favorite one. I will never use anything else. And I recurl them right before I put mascara on just to make sure that they really hold their curl. Okay, one eye is curled. You can barely see. After I curl them, I always brush them out with the spoolie. I owe this mascara my entire life. It is the best product I've ever used. I don't think I will ever switch permanently to anything else. Like, this is seriously just the best. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. I have the regular one also, but I feel like the waterproof holds a curl longer. I don't have, like, a specific way that I do it. I kind of just coat them until I feel like there's enough on and I'm satisfied with the way that they look. I feel like it's the same with eyebrows. One eyelash looks so good and then the other one just kind of looks weird. And it happens to me all the time and it drives me literally insane. So hopefully today is a good lash day. Okay, yeah, this eye looks so much longer <laughs> than this eye. I don't know why it does that. It drives me actually up a wall. <laughs> like It pisses me off so bad, but it's all good. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more just because I want them to be super dark for the rest of the day. At this point, I kind of start to clean up because doing my makeup gets my vanity very messy. Last two steps. Obviously, I have to brush off the powder. I can't go out looking like this. I always do the sides first. I tap it in as I brush it away just to make sure that it's really set in there. Then I just kind of go like this and dust off the nose. I take any excess and just kind of go around my face with it. And then the very last product I use is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wand in the shade Spotlight. And I put it on my cheeks. I just do like a line like that. And then I blend it in with my fingers. And it just is the perfect little glow to finish off my makeup. And I do obviously the exact same thing on the other side. And then of course the nose highlighter is so important as well. And that is my full makeup routine. It's a lot, but it's not too much that it looks overwhelming with like a sweater and leggings like I have on right now. That's why I love this routine so much. And if I'm, you know, doing something at night, normally I'll wear a little bit more and make it a little bit more dramatic. But overall, this is my makeup routine. These are all my favorite products and all my favorite techniques that I use. Like I said in the beginning, all of these products will be linked down below on my Amazon storefront and my Shop My, so you can get them directly from Sephora if you feel more comfortable with that. I love you all so much. I'm so excited that you're here, and I will see you all next week. Bye, guys.